Hey guys, it's Bub here. Back in January of this year, we took a look at Rectify 11, which was a which was the community's version of making Windows 11 better, making it usable and upping it to standards that Microsoft should have released it to. We took a look at that, and honestly, I wasn't that impressed. However, since then, the developers of Rectify 11 have released two new versions, version 2.0 and version 2.5. In this video, we're taking a look at version 2.5 to see how they really improved Rectify 11 from that initial version, which was released back in, I believe, November, and how it compares now. So in this video, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at this and seeing is Rectify 11 A better than Rectify 11 version 1 and B better than standard Windows 11. So let's power up this VM, get it installed, and take a look. And already, just out of the box, compared to the original Rectify 11 and the regular Windows 11 setup, this looks so much more modern. I'm not really a fan of the cursor, but as for everything else, it just looks so much more modern. They removed that setup as starting, which is really a great thing. But it just looks so much more fluent, so much more modern. I mean, even that, look, all the icons are updated. I mean, I'm already impressed by this setup screen. I mean, this is just so nice. All right, and here we are, and straight off the bat, just like last time, we are facing that graphical glitch. Um, just like in the original version of Rectify 11, everyone in the comments yelled at me by saying this is just something to deal with with Rectify 11 until we can get graphics drivers installed. So we're going to go ahead and install VMware Tools with this really wacky looking display here, and then that'll be able to fix our display and it'll look normal, hopefully. Although I did notice, just like the original Rectify 11, completely skipped the out-of-box experience. I'm assuming that's because of all the tweaks that are installed. It could be based on a per-user basis, so it already just figured it's going to make its own user. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it skipped the out-of-box experience. So we're just waiting for this to install so we can take a look. And here we are, Rectify 11. So by default, all of our taskbar icons have shifted to the left which I I know that's a huge concern with Windows 11 they don't like having icons in the center but I actually really like having the icons in the center to me it just feels more natural anyways moving along I can't remember if in the original build of Rectify 11 if there was a custom start menu or not but this looks to be the standard Windows 11 start menu um, again we have search The desktops, Chromium is pre-installed, the file explorer, which, wow. I know that this doesn't look that much different, but the fonts and the icons and like that gradient, it just looks so much better. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. We also have a built-in Rise Media Player, which looks to be open source, which, again, looks much more Windows 11-y than Microsoft's own built-in media player and the Microsoft Store. So there is a notes.txt file on the desktop, but for some reason it cannot open. Oh, there we go. All right, so it is telling us basically everything here. So let's take a look. New visual style, dark mode, scalability, performance, Winver, start all back, alt tab, legacy accessories, store, blah, 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 blah. So the first thing I want to take a look at is alt tab because I use alt tab a lot so we're just gonna open up four applications and alt tab all right so I do have an insider computer and I can't remember if it's like this on insider or not because on Windows 11 it brings up the entire full screen thing but I can't remember if it's like this on insider or not but still I love that it looks amazing next up the Winver again not a huge deal but it's a little nice to have an updated Winver. Kind of glitched out. Can't really see the text all in light mode, so that doesn't really matter. Um, but overall, just first impressions of the operating system, way better than Rectify version 1, and it performs better too. So those right-click menus are changed back to the original, which honestly... I'm not going to lie, I really liked the new right-click menus. I liked the way that they had that mica effect and the way that they... I, I really liked them, but I mean, a lot of people didn't. So I guess it is nice to have the classic ones back, but 
I like the new ones. <laughs> um, taking a look at pre-installed apps, we have Character Map UWP. So I guess this would be an application that's typically installed, but they made a different one for UWP. Chromium Modern Flyouts, which is a shouldn't be a problem in the new builds, like the 22H2, the Insider builds, because they did change that to the bottom. The regular notepad is still here, although it is up to date with the latest version, thankfully. There is also the new remote desktop, the media player, settings, blah, 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 and WordPad UWP, which is, again, a different version of WordPad, which I think I like it, but this just kind of resembles Notepad a lot with more features. So we need to pick either having Notepad or WordPad because there's really no need for both. Again, all of this stuff is kind of the standard Windows 11 stuff. They still didn't add the time into the calendar section, which I wish having the time with seconds was an option in the calendar. Also having events in the calendar would be nice because that is something that a lot of people don't like about Windows 11. Um, also, the dots to open the apps have been replaced by from the arrow to the three dots. Ah, that's like a neutral change. I don't really like it. I don't really hate it. Task Manager. This looks so much more modern than even the new one. And I believe that this is on version 22000.318, which is way newer than 22194. Yep, 318. And does Windows Update work? So updates are paused until January 1st, 2050, but we should be able to just resume updates because in the last version, they completely disabled it. But in this version, it looks like all the updates are available to install, even the new cumulative update for Windows 11. So we're going to let those install in the background while we take a look at some things like this new media player. I know that there is a new media player in Windows 11, which honestly looks so much better than the old Groove Music, but I don't know. This looks way more Windows 11-y. I don't think I have any files that I can add to play anything, but I mean, I just like the way that it looks. It it looks so much more like Windows 11. Um, all these apps are your typical Windows 11 apps pre-installed. There is a lot of bloatware removed, but as for storage space, we ha are using roughly 12 gigabytes, which honestly is not that bad at all. I mean, I feel like that's a standard Windows 11 install because Windows takes up a lot of space. As for performance, oh, I just noticed, but I just realized that they added the right click on the taskbar to open Task Manager, which is honestly pretty cool. Um, as for performance, roughly idling three gigs out of eight, that's not horrible. I mean, I guess that's okay for Windows 11. Um, but yeah, it is actually installing the updates. Uh, I'm curious just to see. We're done testing. I just wanted to see if updating this is going to break it. So it does look like it did install some updates. I don't think it was the actual communal. I don't think it was the actual cumulative update. I actually have no clue what installed if the OS version number changed. No, we're still on 318. But the updates that we did install didn't appear to break the operating system. These are the updates we installed. Even the update for Windows 11, it didn't really break the OS, which I'm really shocked about. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.